going to be trying to do a Bob Ross painting. This is the first time I've done one of his paintings following along. Um, and also the first time in a very, very long time that I've used oil paints. So we'll see how this goes. Um, it's been a while since I've painted. Uh, <laughs> so this is either going to be turned out okay or it's going to be really hilarious. Either way, I wanted to record it. So, I don't know, other people could share in my suffering. That's enough talking. Let's just do this. I thought today I'd show you a little painting that is so simple that even if you've never painted, you can do this one, guaranteed. Well, that's definitely good because I essentially have never painted, so let's do it. So I'll tell you what, let me show you what I've got up here. Today I just have a plain old double prime canvas and I painted it with black gesso and allowed the black gesso to dry completely. Check. So it's, it's totally dry. And Mine we're too. going to start out today and just use a, totally dry just use a paper towel that I've wadded up here. And I'm going to show you how to take gesso. We use black, white, and gray gesso. Excuse you, sir. I have black. I have lamp black. And titanium white. So that's going to have to do it, Bob. We're just going to make some gray. That's all right. I know how to do this. I went to kindergarten. Let's see, maybe this is a joy of paper towel painting. Hold on, I gotta go get a paper towel. You didn't tell me to prepare for this, Bob. Paper towels. Okay. I don't know what gesso is, but. We can do this. Alright, so, joy paper towel painting. I'm sure anyone who knows what gesso is is probably screaming at me that I'm doing this wrong. But, yeah, that. Sure, that, that seems like it. Let's just go with that. There. You want this to be your brightest area in the painting. Okay. So we just start from there and we work outward. Okay. Outward, outward, outward. There. Bob, you have more paint than me. Yes. These kind of gessos are just unbelievable. Yeah. They do wonderful things for you. They uh -huh. open. Oh, all we're going all the way to the imagination. Okay. It's finished. Those little high points will grab the paint and it makes beautiful things happen. Uh huh. Don't fight with them. Gray here and there because I want this to be a little darker on the edges. Oh, we're going to get some gray now. So oh. that it looks like we have sunlight in the center and it's working out. So good. Well, we're going to make some gray real fast. Please pardon me while I make gray. I should probably get something so I don't get this all over myself. So again, people who know about painting, you probably know what gesso is. I don't. But I have acrylic paint, which looks like what he's using in the video. So we're going to go with that. Violence is always the answer. Okay, Bob. I'm ready. Okay, so we have both sides with a little bit of black. I hope that shows. Okay. And we go up in here, and we have to make our first major decision. Oh. Where up here does our tree live? All you do is touch, and as you work down, apply more pressure, more pressure. And All automatically, the your tree trunk will get larger toward the base. And trees normally look better if they're bigger on the bottom. So, there we go. Something Did about that. that right? So you just put in as many or as few trees as you want in your world. Okay. That's all there is to it. Maybe you say right. This side. Maybe it's a little tree that's got a yonk in it. A little crook in it. A yonk. A yonk. That's a technical term. Trees aren't all straight. <laughs> Neither are we so, well. I'll put a few on this old tree here just to uh, old crooked uh, Just so we can see what he looks like. There. And give your trees character. Don't don't just make them perfectly straight. <laughs> arms that come out both sides.
let's go back up in here. And I just use the foam brush to do this. Just figure out where he lives and go, rrr, rrr, rrr. Gonna make all those noises and put a big old tree. He lives right there. I want him to come right across. Right there. Yeah. Here goes big tree. But these little disposable foam brushes work very good for this. There, see, he's got a big arm and lives out here. And one over here, we don't know. Wherever you want him. And it's gonna be better. It's gonna be much better than this one. I have a limited time and patience, and your imagination is probably better. So you make you make beautiful things. I'm trying. And when you're doing these, I'm... okay, I think that'll pretty much show us how to do the lid background. As I say, I would let it dry between each and every layer. All right. Well, I have to let mine dry now, so it'll get there. Time to clean up. Wanna play a game? You wanna move my cat? Of course you do. This is Phoenix. Wanna see my other cat? Of course you do. This is Carjo. He's my old man. He's somewhere between nine and two hundred. That was the sound of Phoenix running up the stairs. Oh, now you say hi. Are you dry yet? I don't have enough lung capacity for this. They say it looks better if you look at it from afar. I guess it's good that I decided not to do this live considering how long this is taking. Bible's not quite dry yet. Don't touch right there. A phthalo blue. I have, phthalo I don't have phthalo blue. blue. But I do have French ultramarine. Is it better than normal ultramarine? Because it's French. Very little paint's required for this painting. Well, then why do you have so much on your big old board there, Bob? I'm left-handed, so there's a nice little rim around my little palette that I got myself. But all it works if you hold it in your left hand. I guess my paint's just gonna spill everywhere. Isn't that fantastic? Oh my lord. Work. This makes some of the most gorgeous little paintings. And they're wonderful to do for friends and family because they'll just be amazed at how fast they happen. I'm going to take it right down to just the tops of these little bushy looking things that we made. Bushes? I didn't make bushes. There. Is that what these are supposed to be? The neatest things we've ever come up with. It really does work. Well, you're already well ahead of me, so we're going to backtrack a little bit. Let's add more. Let's go up here. Okay. That's totally what you're, that's, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. The paint had a little buggy. That's what the apron's for. It's black. You won't even notice. Stop judging me. Try this and we'll see what happens. This might be a big learning experience for us all. So we'll find out. if it's ripping the paint off or if that's what it's supposed to do. 
Yeah, that's definitely smearing. Now the question is, do I keep doing it or do I just stop? We're just going to see what happens. You know what? Happy little accidents. That's what's happening. Start at the top. And all we're doing in reality is putting a glaze right over the top of our gesso. Isn't that fantastic? This makes some of the most gorgeous little paintings. I think we just smeared them. They're wonderful to do. I looks like a blizzard, Bob. Come on, Bob. Got to go wash some brushes. We're back. I only have one two inch brush on my cube, so gotta do with what we got here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like so. He says. With Indian yellow. And take some lizard crimson, sap green, mix it together. Put okay. more of the so crimson and sap only to the reddish side. Reddish, white, off your brownish. Bring it up to wherever you want it to stop. Can I just gorgeous. cover the whole thing in it? And it's so easy. Once again, if you've never painted in your whole life, it looks like I've never painted my whole life. This is one you're going to try. Because you can't make a mistake with it. It's so easy. Unless you put oil on your canvas and all your colors bleed together. If it stops right there. And it's up to you. I'm going to pull a little bit of that color up so it looks like you're some on these tree trunks. <laughs> See, yeah. You can do that if you want to. Here. Start right over the lip. Because once again, to me, it, when you look at the sun that bright, it's like it just burns right through that tree branch. And you can't see it. It's probably something in your eyes. It's only really white now. I'll have to get an optometrist to explain all that to me. But... I think whoever looks at mine is going to be an optometrist. It all looks blurry, Bob. How do you make this look so easy? I'm getting paint all over my computer. That's not good. It's not what I'm trying to do. But this is the way I see it. There. But just go right over it. But look at that sun coming through there now. That doesn't look like sun. Mm. For a long time, I wanted to make effects like this, but I didn't, I didn't really know how to do it and make it look right. And then when they came out with all the, the gessos like this, it made it so easy. Oh, that's what you mean. Now anybody can do it. Well, anybody can do it. Committed now, Bob. And in your world, you should be able to do anything that you want to do. It's a pain. All right. That's not right. You have to decide how bright the sun is and how far it goes out. Oh, it's a sun. Totally and completely up to you. Nope, it was up to the paint. But look at it, it's so bright it almost hurts the eyes. Sometimes, sometimes it's it hard does hurt to make like light rays zinging through there. Now, you know, if the whole painting is wet, that's hard to do. Because when you pull it across there, it's going to take you wet paint. But this is dry, baby. The gesso is dry. So we can... It, oh, it's easier to show you. All you have to do is just... Decide where it lives, see? Touch it and then give it a little pull. Because you're not going to destroy anything. <laughs> and that easy. See, see the light coming out through those trees? See, just wherever. Look at it. That easy. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, how come yours looks way better than mine? Paintings. I'm sorry I get so excited about this. And that's basically all there is to this little painting. When you do it, experiment a little. You'll find all kinds of wonderful things that you can do. That I hadn't even thought about yet. Let's take a little bit of red. And I'm going to sign this little rascal. We'll sign it up here so you can see it. Too and with I don't that, want to I sign we're going to have a finished painting. Don't think you're going to sign it. I really hope you try this one. And I did try. If you'd send me a photograph of what you do. I wish I could have It's off. unbelievable some of the pictures we're getting. And people are doing fantastic things. Ta-da.